Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Another respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Coming back at you again with another let's do the power of spirit, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rukakadash, Barakatham. To all the sisters listeners out there. And I'm just gonna, you know, just seeing this article, you know, off of CNET. And the uh, title of this article is U.S. Space Force members will now be called guardians. Vice President Mike Pence announced the U.S. Guardians of the Galaxy. And what that is, that's a play on words. Uh, talking about the Space Force, which they, you know, under, you know, pres presidency of Donald Trump has, you know, now started last year. And when uh, you look at the whole grand scheme of things, it's never know basically your house shot is coming back. And that's the reason why that they are built that day you know, had his space forces established. And they basically want to fight Yahawasha and a host of angels that's going to come with him to take Esau Edom out of power. And those are the truth, we understand this. And and what that, and why is the, the space force now is being called Guardians? Because in their mind, you know, because they have uh, rulership over the whole planet, and they had, a, you know, base of the planet in, in their mercy, they they pretty much uh, want to uh, inside out Yahweh by Shimmy Shah. and and these devils, uh, they know the scriptures. They know that the chariots have been on the scene. And, and chariots that, you know, with a uh, envy called UFOs, uh, unidentified fire objects, but we, we call it IFOs because we, because according to the scriptures, you know, they are chariots of Yahweh by Shimmy Shah. And they've been appearing, appearing here on in the atmosphere in, on the planet Earth more frequently than ever. You know, they was appearing back then. But, you know, the, the military and the government, you know, they kept it on the wraps, you know, keeping up the general public not uh, for knowing that, that the chariots actually exist. But now we're seeing the chariots coming more and more and more. And now these devils are afraid because they know that the size of these chariots mean that it is the end or they is it is the end of their kingdom, and they know that the chariots are, uh, you know, they know that the chariots are the salvation of the elect of the house of Israel. You know, the chariots are going to come back. You know, start with the top, uh, start with Yahushua, and then the host of heaven, which are the angels are going to come back and they're going to deliver the elect of the house of Israel. And these devils, they, they know the scriptures. They know that this is going to take place. So what what they are doing and what they have done to try to counteract Yahusha and, and, you know, and the host of angels, they built, they built the space force. And you know, and they call their name guardians because in their mind that they believe that they could take on your house, you and, and the host of heaven, which are the angels, and they believe in their mind that they can beat them. So that's the reason why they're building a space for because they are trying, they are trying hard to stop your house, you and they are trying hard to stop the, uh, you know, the, you know, the angels from coming back and delivering the elect of Israel. But we all know that that plan 
is going to fail miserably. You know what I'm saying? And let me get another script. Let me get a scripture real quick. Let, we're going to go to Revelation. You know what I'm saying? Where it talks about the war in heaven. You know what I'm saying? We, we're going to start off with that scripture. And then, y'all, we're going to dive straight into the article. You know what I'm saying? And this is Revelation chapter 12. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start at uh, verse 7, you know. And it reads, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. And when it's talking about war in heaven, it's not talking about, you know, the place that Yahweh Bashim Shah abodes. It's talking about the, the, the sky that you see on an everyday basis here on earth because there's going to be war in heaven, you know, in the media sky that you see every day. And, you know, if you are familiar with the scriptures, that the, if there's three heavens, there's the sky, the heaven that you see every day, which is the sky. The second heaven is the, uh, is the is space. And the third heaven is, is, is the heaven of heavens, which your house shall Yahweh by Shem Shai and the angels and the host of heaven do well of both. You know what I'm saying? But what it's talking about the war, it's talking about atmosphere, the sky that you see on an everyday basis, and 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 that you see in the chariots, you know, a period, you know, in heaven. And and and, and you seeing them, you know, on an everyday basis. And it was a video that a brother did that the uh that the chariot, you know, zoomed by this car was up close and personal. You know, you would you would actually able to see the chariot. You know, and these devils they know that that your house is coming back. So they doing any and everything to try to stop, you know, the evasion of your house shot and the host of heaven. Because they know that this is gonna be the end of their rulership. And salvation for Israel, you know, mainly elect of Israel. And they know once your house shot comes back, you know what I'm saying, he, he, he's going to come back. He's not going to meet them as a man. He's going to come back in his full glory. Let, let's, get, let's get another scripture. Because these devils are afraid of what's going to happen. They know what's going to happen. And they're, uh, they're afraid. So they're get, getting their space for it prepared. They're trying to counteract Yahweh Hashem Shah. And this is Revelation 1 and 7. And it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and all the kindred of the earth shall well because of him, even so, so be it. Uh, amen. So, to let you know that the, the devil know that Yahweh Shah is coming back. In, in a in a cloud in a chariot you know which they call UFO but we know those are the chariots uh you how about Shim how shot that the vehicles that the angels patrol in and in and, and all the activity what goes on here on, on the planet earth they go by Shim out shot then you know that that the, the status of everything that's going on around the world just read why the scripture said that the the eyes of Yahweh are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, you know, beholding the evil and the good, you know what I'm saying? And, and how is he doing that? You know, through the through the uh, chariot, man, through the angels of, of, of Yahweh by Shimon Shah, which goes back and forth, and they report out every, every status of what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And these devils, they know that. That's the reason why they're trying to be like the Most High. That's the reason why these devils got the, got the Space Force going because they want to be like the Most High, they want to emulate Yahweh by Shah, and they and they and they want to take Yahweh Yahweh Shah and and overthrow him along with the the host of heaven, and they trying to maintain their status, or, or, or they should be ruling that they know what what's going on, you know what I'm saying? And and he does, they they know that man, they know that the Most High is a uh, is a uh, uh you know he's coming back. They know that he's gonna deliver the elect of Israel. That's the reason why they 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 at the point that 
they 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 trying to stop this rulership now. You know, they trying to stop for uh, your house child from returning. Because they know within themselves if your house once your house child return, that's the end. That is the end of of they uh they rulership. And and they gonna go back to their base man status. You know what I'm saying? And they know this. And, and why is they why is they call guarding who, who, who they guarding trying to guard the earth for them. they trying to guard the earth for your house child and it's and just a host of angels which we know in in a nutshell that they they're going to fail miserably you know what I'm saying it's going to be a really really failed attempt on their part to try to stop your house child because your house child go when he comes back He's gonna come back. He's coming back. He's gonna do that work, man. He's gonna put that work in on, on uh, you know, these devils, man. You know what I'm saying? He he he's going to put that work in, and he's gonna take them out of power. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna take this wicked system out of power. So that's the reason why these devils are are running. They scrambling to try to stop this from happening, and that's the reason why they they they. Been, you know, want to build this space for us, which they had, you know, into, uh, they, uh, you know, made it, uh, you know, established last year in 2019, you know what I'm saying? And, and they've been, you know, pushing to try to stop the Savior for returning back, man. You know what I'm saying? They're trying to stop the Savior for, uh, from, uh, you know what I'm saying, redeeming the elect of Israel because they know that that's going to be their end. So let's let's continue on with the article so locking for the rambling, but just want to give you an understanding of what this article is talking about. This article is basically letting you know that Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah is going to deliver the elect of Israel. And and he devils know that every why they building this so called space force. You know what I'm saying? And every reason why they call them uh, guardians, you know what I'm saying? Because they 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 want you they want everybody to believe that uh that this um uh, you know that um uh, you know that the the these are uh even he, he, he wants you to believe that they're gonna stop your house y'all and, and they're gonna do it by any means necessary and even that even if that means they have to take you know what I'm saying that they have to the uh you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, they gonna do it by any means necessary. You know, that's what they trying to do. But let's just get get on with the article. The title of the article is US Space Force Members Will Not Be Called Guardians. Vice President Mike Pence announced the US Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I'm gonna show you the article at the end and let you see what this article like is off of uh, C that. So if your brother wants to do a lesson on it, you can feel free to do so. Uh, let's continue. So now we know U.S. Space Force members will be called guardians going forward. U.S. V uh, Vice President Mike Pence said Friday, you know, you know, this article came out today. His announcement came during a first birthday celebration for the military branch. Soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and guardians will be defending our nation for generations to come, uh, Penn said, and these devils still walking in their pride. And they believe that that this military can't be touched. This military can't can't be defeated. But but they have ran across the power like Yahweh by Shimei Al Shah. He's gonna take this he's gonna take the these people out of power now. He's gonna take he's gonna take them down and 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 these you know people that saying they quote unquote proud to be an American, you know they pride gonna be crushed, man, because they, because how the how the uh, chariots is gonna maneuver and 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 it's gonna and it's not gonna be anything like it, man, because these 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 devils really believe that they can't be touched. These devils really believe that they can't be defeated, but they're gonna see. That you have by Shim Al Shah is gonna mop the floor with them, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they it's gonna be a very short work that you have by Shim Al Shah and the host of heaven gonna do 
to to the inhabitants of this earth, man, to these devils that are our rulership and these other nations that are joined unto them. You know what I'm saying? They think they're going to be the defending, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, you know, America. They think America is just, is going to withstand everything. But the scripture going scripture gonna let you know this place is going to be destroyed by ICBMs in the continental ballistic missiles. You know what I'm saying? This place is going to be destroyed. And the only thing that's going to be happening in this place after be destroyed is going to be desert creatures. So you, so these devils are walking in great pride. According to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, it said pride go before destruction and the heart of spirit before a fall. And, and, and these devils, they're going to fall in their pride, man. Because they believe that they don't build this quote-unquote space for us. They thinking that they they gonna stop your house, child. But get what they little puny space for us. It's not gonna stop your house by the time you outside. And your house, child, he's gonna come back with a mission, and that's to take this man out of power, and to put all these other nations that join unto him. They they gonna he gonna put them under his feet. He's gonna rule these nations with a rod of iron, man. These these nations are gonna get it, and 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 how about him out, child? Can't wait to get his hand on these devils, man. You know, especially, you know, that they, they was the one that pierced and crucified him when he was on the earth, man. He, he, you know, your house shot coming for some payback. And they read why I, uh, Isaiah 47 and 3 say he, he's not going to meet the as a man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about to see my coming back in, in, in his full splendor, man. He's going to come back with power and with great glory, man. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? And, and these, these, these people about to get it. But let's continue. It said, Penn said that the Space Force, which was established on December 20, 2019, now has 2,000 military members. And another 3,600 officers have filled out paperwork to transfer to the Space Branch of the military. The Vice President said that they are anticipating having 6,000 in just a short period of time. Now, why is they doing all this? Let's, let's get, you know what I'm saying, that all these nations are going to be gathered to the value of Jehoshaphat. That means every everybody that's, that's joined to this beast system, you know what I'm saying, everybody that's joined to this beast system, they're going to fight against your house, you, you know, that in, you know, in that war of heaven. You know, they're going to start off, they're going to be fighting against each other. And, and then when they see your house, you return, they go. They gonna stop fighting one another, and and then they gonna they gonna try to join together and try to stop your house, shot. You know, like you like you see in the Independence Day. You know what I'm saying? They they all these nations. They they came together and they fought against the uh the the UFOs, which we know that's a that's a metaphor for you know they fight against your house, shot, and and the you know and the host of heaven. Which you know the the the, the uh, mothership, you know what I'm saying, um, the mothership, you know what I'm saying, represent you know the big cherry, which was your house shot. And, you know you remember that scene, you know not to you know get off topic. You remember that scene that you know Will Smith and the other guy, you know they was inside the mothership, and when they shot them rockets, you know to say at the at the leader. You know, if you notice that that leader is supposed to be your house child, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know what I'm saying? And, and they mind, they want to replicate Independence Day. They think that, you know, they're going to be beaten at first, but at the end, they're going to come back and remain triumphant over your house child in, in, a, in a host of heaven. But we, we know that that's not going to be the case because the work that this, this is going to be a short in a light work for y'all by Shimmy Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Your house shot, he's gonna come back, he's gonna make work of these devils, man. And it's not gonna even be a long work, it's gonna be very short. Because Esau technology is not as advanced as, as the technology of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? But let's continue on with the article. It reads in its first year of operation, the Space Force has been working through a long arc of a comfort accomplishments, large and small. It has overseen a number of satellite launches and the start of a new mission 
for the S-37B space plane and it's not matched the constellation of GPS satellites. It also published a key space power doctrine document, pick out a logo and uniform design, and got an Air Force from William Shatner on its rank structure. It has been lampooned in a Netflix series of the same name. You know what I'm saying? That's really why you heard Star Trek. You know, the, the series Star Trek, you know, they had the the uh the ship was going out into space and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? These devils know, man. They know all these space moves they got they got it from the scriptures, man. Because they they they, they know you how about Shimmy out shot the wells in the third heaven, man. And they want to replicate that. That's really why you're seeing all these space movements. You had twenty twelve, you Independence Day, you had Norm with Nicholas Cage, you had uh you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it's plenty of other moves I can't think off the top of my head. But, you know, nevertheless, you see a lot of, uh, you know, you see, you have the day after tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You got all these movies. Even, even you had, uh, you know, quote unquote Black Panther. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, let, nevertheless, though, all, all these space moves and all these things, they they got them out the scriptures. They want to imitate your how about Shimmy out shot to them a T, man, but we know that they can't do it, so let's continue. It really not started from scratch, though it's likely taken over from the U.S. Air Force Space Command, which was established back in the early 1980s. The Space Force is growing strong, strongly every day, and just in, in the nick of time, Pence added, space is a vacuum, and we're not operating in a vacuum. Space is a war fighting demand. Domain speaks like it. It is imperative that we invest the resources, the personnel, and technology to defend our nation and defend our values in outer, in outer reach of space. And basically, what they is telling you, they tell you that we know that you have about shooting out shot and returning back. So, so we gonna have to do whatever we have to do. In order to stop the coming of Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah, we 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 gonna have to stop. We gonna have to stop. You know, uh, uh, Israel for getting hope. So any other hope that uh, that uh, that Israel have that for Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah to return back, uh, we gonna have to crush it because we do not want you know these these people. We do not want Israel to be redeemed. We do not want Israel to be delivered, man. Because because Israel hope and deliverance is is, is uh is the return of uh, Yahweh Shah and the the host of angels, which are the host of heaven, to come back and to deliver us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because these the devils know they know they know the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? They know they know the deal, man. So I'm finna show you that show you the article. You know what I'm saying? It's a locker for the double screen, but I'll try to get it in there. But we'll do it like that. The, the article reads US Space Force members will not be called guardians in in, in Slacker for if it's a little blurry. You know what I'm saying? That that is the symbol. You know what I'm saying? That's the symbol right there. You know what I'm saying? And, and and I just want to uh, let let you see this article, but you know what I'm saying it's a very 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 lengthy article, you know what I'm saying, and it's off of a CNET, you know what I'm saying it's a lot it's a lot on this article, so if you probably want to do a little a lesson on it, you can feel free to do so, you know what I'm saying it's a very lengthy article, so uh, so. Uh, you know, so I'm gonna read the title of the article one more time so that way you all can get it and then we're gonna end off the lesson. You know, there's plenty of scriptures that you can go into talking about the chariots. You got Psalms 104 chapter, I believe roughly around the fourth and the fifth verse. You have uh Acts chapter one verse nine through eleven when your house shall be taken up in the cloud, which which is a chariot. You had the account of uh Elijah, he was taken up in a chariot, you know what I'm saying, but it was called a horse of fire, 
but we know that was the chariot of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. And you had the uh and you had uh, uh in the first count in Genesis when Enoch was taken up, you know, he got he got beamed up in the chariot. You know what I'm saying? Because he walked with Yahweh for three hundred years, man. You know what I'm saying? All these encounters of of our, our people, our forefather got beamed up in the chariot. You know what I'm saying? And there's been many more, and, and even uh, the wise men they fought the chariot too. Where your house shall at, you know what I'm saying? And these devil, they know these scriptures, you know what I'm saying? They know that your house shall is coming back, and you coming back to deliver the elect of Israel. That's the reason why they build this place for us. So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? You be circumspect, you know, you, you know, brothers and you, you sisters out there that believe. In this wise council of y'all by Shem Al Shah. Because get what? You know, we all we almost out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? We almost out of here. Because the scripture tells us to lift up our head for our redemption, draw or not, man. You know what I'm saying? It said, lift up your head. We see all your day, lift up your head because your redemption, draw or not, you know, that we're going to be delivered out of here. And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, honor, and honor to y'all. By Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kapadash, devil honors to the apostle elders and great millstone, and no respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the world worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.